The purple martin is the largest swallow in North America. These birds spend winters in South America and migrate north in the spring to breed in Mexico, the United States, and Canada. In nature, martins nest in existing cavities made by woodpeckers or naturally found in dead trees. Unfortunately, people often remove dead trees to use the wood for safety or for appearance, so dead trees are harder to find. Purple martins have adapted to using artificial housing, such as gourds or apartment-style bird houses that people put up for them. Here are a few things you can do to encourage purple martins to nest on your property. Choose the right spot for the martin house. Place it in the center of the largest open spot available. Keep martin houses 20 to 120 feet from human housing. Believe it or not, purple martins like nesting near human habitation. Trees should be at least 40 feet away and 60 feet is preferred. Purple martin housing should be 10 to 17 feet above the ground. Raccoons, owls, hawks, and crows may prey upon purple martin eggs or nestlings. Don't attach wires to the housing or poles as predators could use these to access the housing. A predator guard on the pole at least four feet off the ground will help prevent raccoon problems. External guards may help protect against predation by birds. Often you'll see apartment style houses as purple martins are colonial birds. You can purchase these or, or plans are available if you want to build your own. Housing must have easy access for cleaning, such as a hinged door or access cap. Easy access will make it easier to clear house sparrow nests prior to the arrival of martins each year. Purple martins prefer housing with base dimensions of 7 by 12 inches, but 6 by 6 inches will work. Larger floor areas allow for cooler temperatures for nestlings. The apartment house should be a light color, such as white, to reflect heat. Also, you could use a gourd as a house. Gourds are easy to grow, are lightweight, and make an attractive addition to a backyard. For a gourd birdhouse, drill four to six drain holes in the bottom and two holes at the top for hanging. Drill the entrance hole one inch above the floor, two to two and one quarter inches in diameter. Larger holes will attract European starlings. Use a plastic coated wire to suspend the gourd. Also, plastic gourd houses are available, made of plastic that can tolerate sunlight without breaking down. Never use transparent plastic, as heat will build up and can kill nestlings. Once you've decided on your housing, you need to elevate it in a way that makes it easy to manage. A telescoping pole or a pole with a winch and pulley allows you to raise and lower the house vertically. This makes it easier to check and clean the housing. And when you lower and then raise the housing, make sure it's oriented in the same compass direction so that the birds can find their own compartments again. Don't place housing on a stationary or tilt-down pole. You won't be able to check it easily. Older martins that have already established nesting areas arrive in Nebraska in mid-March. Your old martins looking for new nesting sites arrive in mid-April to late April. Have your housing ready, but don't open up housing until about four weeks after you see martin scouts appear. If you open up housing earlier, sparrows and starlings will build nests instead. Martins may arrive and begin nesting through the end of June. Check the purple martin housing on a weekly basis. If native birds like tree swallows, wrens, or bluebirds try to nest in the martin housing, close it up and put up single unit boxes for them in other areas of your property. Once those birds have accepted the new boxes, reopen the martin housing. If you find house sparrow or European starling nests, you can remove them as they are not native birds. Keep a log or a journal on the number of apartments or gourds that are occupied and whether nests have eggs or nestlings. Also, walk under the housing every day to look for owl pellets, nestlings that have been thrown out, or eggshells from hatchlings. These let you know what's going on in the housing and may let you know of problems that are brewing. Finally, don't close housing until late August. Fledglings search for next year's breeding sites in late summer. At the end of the season, remove all nests and scrub the housing with a solution of one part bleach to nine parts water. Rinse with clean water and allow to air dry before storing your house for the winter. Your housing will last longer if you take it down and store it indoors for the winter. If this is impossible, plug the holes to prevent sparrows and starlings from taking up residence. They may claim the birdhouse in late winter and be difficult to remove in the spring. The Purple Martin Conservation Association has more information including plans for housing and predator guards. 
The Purple Martin Society of North America has an arrival report and information for Martin enthusiasts. I'm Jan Hingstrom from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. 